Previously on Rockstar in Excess. Welcome to the Rockstar Boutique. The rockers got a taste of their first clinic. These are dope. And it was all about style. Too sexy? You know what I mean? Like, like... That's not a big problem to have, you know? I think there's a few people who have needed some help. When it was time for the all-important song selection, Tara was determined not to back down on her first choice. Deanna and I are still at a impasse. I would have gone on a hunger strike to get that song. But the next night, her performance was more metal than rock. While Jessica and Neil also struggled on stage. And after another winning performance, JD struck a nerve. While they're learning the NXS songs, I know them because I love them. That night at the mansion, Doing that tonight, I think he just slapped me in the face so hard. JD found out what the other rockers really thought about his comment. It made me feel a certain way. The next night, after the world voted, Tara, Jessica, and Neil found themselves in the bottom three. Singing in excess, Tara got the job done for the second week in a row. With Tara safe, it was down to Neil and Jessica. Neil? You're just not right for our band in excess. Neil became the third rocker eliminated, sending shockwaves through his fellow rockers. Neil's my roommate. He is uh, as beautiful as a... Are you ready for a new sensation? Intense than last week. Here's to Neil. Here's to Neil, the most Here's like gracious, kindest person. Neil Carlson. Hey. Neil was absolutely life changing in every possible way. <laughs> yes, he was. Neil brought a light to this house that will be greatly missed. He is kind of like the heart of the group. We were all very, very, very shocked that he went home. Neil was like one of the main ones here that was like hooking us up all the time, you know. Yeah was like inspiration and like playing the guitar and you know he wasn't so concerned about the song it was like some of the song. <laughs> that energy not being in the house is going to be huge to see a, a true rocker go like that really makes it like anybody can go at this point anybody the first thing we'd say would be congratulations to tara yeah. Yeah. jessica for making through it's hard because neil was such a presence in this house i felt like it was like my last performance. I don't contribute as much as Neil did, and I feel bad that I'm still here and Neil's gone. I thought you kicked ass, kid. Being up there a second time, I sort of became weirdly not nervous. I take it as a sort of testament of faith at this point that they've kept me around. And I resigned myself to just doing what I had to do. Can I just say something, guys, before this goes on? Yeah. Man, are you guys cool with me? Unfortunately, we heard JD's comment all over again at the elimination show. Because I just Fine. thought maybe like... JD, you know what, it was an like, impulsive thing to do. I think that JD has reminded us that this is a competition. People are taking offense to what he said, and I don't understand where he's coming from yet. We're yeah. done with that happened, and we're over it. We only learn them because we have to. Nobody loves the band any more than anybody else, you know, or none of us would be here. You don't need to bring anybody else down to make you look better. To me, it's inexcusable. I will not be talked down to, and I will not be I belittled. I wasn't ever, belittling ever, ever. you no at all, bro. No way, shape, or form. Now, see, JD came in with a strategy on how he was going to win it. He sat down and wrote out what I'm going to do, what I'm going to say, how I'm going to work it. Bottom line is, I know what's right. 
and I know what's wrong. Do you really want to be the lead singer of an excess? And what price are you willing to pay at this point? It's like the game is on, man, and we have, you know, it's about choosing songs and kicking butt every week, and we know that. The things that I do are for one reason, and that's to be a member of an excess. My approach might be a little bizarre. I'm just trying to win. Good morning. Ah! <laughs> Hi, cutie. Hey, cutie. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm good, how are you? Oh, I'm good, I'm very good. Being apart from the ones you love is very, very difficult at the best of times. My wife, Simi, she's in London. And I, I wasn't sure whether to tell you or not, but um, there some more problems in London. What's going mean? What do you mean? Like more bombs. Are you okay? Are you... I'm fine, <clears throat> yeah, it's just... It's just hard to be away from you at this time and realize what's important and I just feel, I feel a little bit uneasy. Um, baby, I'm, to be honest, I'm very, very worried that you're catching public transport at the moment. It's going to be okay. Yeah, okay. I just wish I've, at this moment it's just really hard to be away from you when this kind of thing's happening in London, that's just not bad. Um, if anything would have happened to see me while I was here, I don't know how I could have lived with that. I love you so much. I love you, miss you. I miss you too. And, and, and get, get a bike. Okay. <laughs> All right. Bye. 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 Love you. Love you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Thank God. I love you. I love you too. Okay, I love you, love you, love you. Okay, you look hot, by the way. Oh, thanks, baby. Bye. 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 Hi guys. Nice when we all walked into the ballroom and Tim and Gary were there in front of this gigantic plasma screen television. That's incredible. Hey. 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 Oh. hey guys. Hi. Hi. How are you? Welcome to another Rockstar Clinic. It's hard to be taught how to rock. These clinics are absolutely vital for us to develop as performance and to hone in our craft. Today is all about stagecraft. What Tim and I are here today is to point you in directions that will help one of you to get on stage with us. And it's an open forum. Feel yep. free to comment whenever you want on anybody. What we're going to do is we're going to play all of your performances, or two performances, oh, okay? No. So I know what it's like. I hate watching myself too, but you learn. You really do. Brandon, you're up first. <laughs> I think you're very conscious of how tall you are, and I think you try to hold that back by hunching over. And when you you do that, man, you look amazing, dude. One comment I've got to make, Brandon. Musically, you're staying in your safe zone. You keep doing songs that are just obviously very comfortable. But we need to find a bit of funk and a bit of sex in out of you. I'm really excited to to go a different direction right now. Yeah. Tara, you're up. I think Tara was extremely tense having to watch herself go from country queen to insanity diva. Would the real Tara Sloan please stand up? <laughs> <laughs> okay, definitely. What do you think of your walk on stage? It just comes automatic to me. It's a bit Groucho Marx, I think. Or maybe it's just a little bit. Yeah. 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 Diana, at the end of a song, you don't need to throw another 50 notes in there just to impress us. The one thing that you've got to do is look up more. A few of you are coming out and if there's a, a musical introduction, you're using that opportunity to talk to the audience. Now I would encourage that at any time. Jessica, you're up. So is it um, possible to move around the stage too much? You know what I mean? Just you don't overthink it. You've got to be spontaneous. I mean, that's in excess. Never rehearse. We thrive off being spontaneous and feeding off the audience. Susie. Got a pretty mouth there. <laughs> <laughs> this is just a very strange observation. You know, she's got this beautiful set of teeth that if, if you're not careful, it comes across too much. Yeah. What am I going to do about my teeth? I can't change them. <laughs> JD, you're up, buddy. Oh, baby. 
one thing to remember is well, self-confidence can you know, come across pretty cocky and that, that can actually work against you. But it's great, great performance. The only advice they had to me was to uh, not be cocky. There's something I always uh, thought about Michael was that he, he had a really strong distinction where the line is drawn between ego and self-confidence. Self-confidence is something that's really important to have with just a little bit of ego, but too much ego and everyone gets turned off. We'll move on to Ty. What do you think from looking at that? Jordis. I just love watching him perform. He's stunning on stage. Gets everybody going. People love him. Ty Taylor is an amazing vocalist. He can sing anything. I'm sure he's going to make another band very happy. You've done a lot of stage, and we said this the other night, um, is that it does come across like you've premeditated your performance. Sometimes it can look unconvincing. Their main comment had to do with the fact that my performance style wasn't spontaneous enough or in the moment. We're not a theatre act, and you know, when you're on stage in excess, we're, we're there everywhere. I'm not going to feel bad about being really comfortable or looking so comfortable that it looks too easy. Does that make sense? Message received loud and clear the other night. You know what I mean? I'm taking their comments and just, I'm going to bring it down to the ground a little bit. I'm going to see if I can show them what I think they're missing. I've noticed that this has been accessible for like half an hour, okay? I have no idea what those songs are. I have none. It doesn't even matter. Even if you hold on, hold on, wait, wait, wait. wait. No, no, listen, listen. I know the track record of everything that's going on here. JD, sometimes when he gets drinking, a little of the sauce gets in him. Um, he didn't know how to communicate really all that great. That well, so we're glad you waited for us. For Thank sure. you very much. All right. We are the champions! The song selection has become more important than ever because people realize that if you choose the wrong song, you could be in the bottom three. Lola. Superstition? Oh, I like all these songs. I just need to prove that, you know, I can sing. That's kind of my goal for this week. That's a, a tough vocal song. Tempted? Yeah. Tempted is such a beautiful song. It's something so different for me. We are the champions. Okay, let's do another week. Let's do it. All right. We are the champions is the first song that I wanted. I picked it because the only person that's going to get to go to Australia with an excess is going to have to be willing to sing huge songs. We are the champions. George put it just now as her number one. And I would like to just go on record as saying, like, that song would help me to the whole essence of what we're doing here to push ourselves. But we all have our own. But let's listen to, to him, though. You should listen to him. You're right. No, I'm just. I just oh, yeah, I yeah, you're I absolutely right. It's a little bit unfair to put it out there that way. We were all sitting around the piano, all of us just going through the songs. And um, JD pulled me aside to talk about why he thinks that he should do We Are the Champions. You've had so much darkness. Remember when they were telling you to lighten it up? Did they tell me that? Today, remember? You do We Are the Champions, it's another Jordis doing whatever. I've got a lot to do before I get to, you know, where you are, you know what I mean? To sing We Are the Champions, it's a huge tune, you know what I mean? If you're cool with that, then that's, that means a lot to me, you know? Uh, talking with JD, I realized it wouldn't have been so challenging for me to do We Are the Champions. That's good. On the other hand, to do an upbeat song, which I haven't done yet, like Give Me Some Lovin'. It would be something like out of the box for me. Actually, my favorite performance of yours was the last one, Nirvana. That wasn't the last one. I did Who Was Stank. Okay, here, let's have a look. With the champions, there's one person, JD, on number one. Two people. Oh, wow. No, Jordan has just changed hers. Okay. We are the champions, my friends. 
after I've done my call, my curtain call. I consider it a challenge before the whole human race that I never lose. Consider <sighs> it a challenge before the whole human race that I. Mmm. Mmm. Do you want to switch right now? You're the one that was all hell-bent on We Are The Champion. JD just kept on pulling me aside. I'm like, dude, you have it. Just do it. Just know something, that when all of this is done, I would really like to get to know you. At do you all. want We Are The Champions? No. Okay. Why not? I don't want to switch so much right now. D just stop. No, honest to God, I feel really badly. Do you don't feel don't feel bad. I'm not mad. I'm not upset. I'm fine. Do you want to switch songs? I'm fine with this. Right. We are the champions. It's the hardest song I would ever have to sing. It might be slitting my own throat. I'm gonna see brush, steel face, on front of from my face. I'm singing a song called Tempted. It's going to be a challenge for me, man. Rehearsal today was, uh, it was rough. Hey, there's a couple melodies that you don't have quite right. No, I know. Uh, your shoes and a case. 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 That's out of this place. I'll get it. Brandon singing Tempted is a bit of a worry. Brandon's not singing the melody. Let's get out of this place. Guy, some of the melodies are just. I know. Singing melodically is very, very difficult for me. But let me ask the other thing. If you just, you're just supposed to be in up here with your tone, just bring it back. Tempting by the fruit of the nether. Was that a less nasal? That's thing? less, yeah. That's less. I think he's in a bit of trouble. When your day is with an excess, having said I was too theatrical, I just wanted to stay away from it and just let them know that I'm based on heart, I'm based on soul. Don't your head, yes. People are, are gonna perform like their life depends on it more and more each time. You know, you feel like I've gotta step up my game. And some people will take more risks this week. I wanted to do something different with Lola, a little bit more Miggy. You know that kind of thing? Yeah. I want to try and play harmonica on this one, see if it works. All right. Do you think it would sound weird where I could like, where you just say da 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 and I'm like, all right, everybody, I'm going to need your help with this part. All right, everybody, I'm going to need some help with this song. When I sing, give me some loving. Give me, give me some loving. Because the night, it is going to be different from the past two performances that I've done just because this is kind of my time to shine vocally. Because the night belongs to us. Hello, guys. Hey. Hey, Ming. Hey, guys. I know you've been like amazing helping me, you know, with the arrangements and stuff like that, and I just would like to ask you one more time, dear friends, if you could just go out on a limb with me, maybe. I heard something like, um, trippy, like, dum dum da dum 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 boom dum boom boom da dum bum bum ba dum 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 bum 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 dum The plan was to do sort of like a trip-hop version of We Are The Champions. I gotta be honest with you, this does not serve the song to me at all. This, okay. this takes it somewhere completely where it shouldn't go. Yeah, man, I know it sounds crazy, but I just, it's... It does sound crazy, but we'll go with you. It could be really cool if it was just like a lace. Boom, boom, boom. In by mistakes, I've made a few, few 
JD's arrangement of We're the Champions, it was just awful. Welcome. The biggest problem that JD has with the song is that he doesn't think he can sing it like the original. No time for losers. We are the champions. That's it. The first, the first two things you did, I thought helped the song, you know, help you do the song. This, can we do it once the other way? Okay, well, but it's, you know, the way you want to do it, obviously, is the way we'll do it. Rearranging We Are The Champions, I'm really gonna have to ponder this tonight because this is huge. This is a big deal to go and sing this song. And thanks guys, I'll work on both those versions. Thanks a lot for being patient with me. Mm -hmm. Thanks. See you guys later. If he continues down the path that he was at in rehearsal, he could be out this week. That is just truly awful. That is truly awful. Will the lessons in stagecraft pay off? We're not a theater act. Message received loud and clear. Can JD pull his song together in time? That is truly awful. And will Brandon hit all the right notes? Singing melodically is very, very difficult for me. For more information on the show, the rockers, and exclusive Rockstar content, log on to rockstar.msn.com. Um, what are you doing? Was that We Are the Champions? It was. No time for losers, and we are the champions. Because these guys do these songs because they, you know, they, they have to learn them. I do them because I love them.